to use the new Bezier shape tool, you need to first enable it in the Edit, Preferences, Pro Builder Options. Scroll to the very bottom in the Options panel and make sure and turn on the Experimental Features. And then you'll see the new Bezier shape show up in the toolbar. You can also see this in the Icon mode as the curve with a Bezier handle icon. We'll keep using the text mode for this tutorial though. So I can click on New Bezier Shape and it spawns in a new default shape. And keep in mind while using this that it is an experimental feature. Uh, we're just adding it in there for people who like to give it a test and give us feedback. Starting simply, you can click a point on the shape and move it around. You can also click to select and then move on specific axes if you prefer. The same goes for the tangents or handles. I can click and instantly move them or click to select and move on an individual axis or a plane. I can click anywhere on the spline to create a new point and edit that. And there are also a number of options in the inspector. Number one, you can turn on and off the editing of the shape. Once it's off, you can edit it just like a regular ProBuilder object. For example, extruding sections, etc. However, keep in mind that if you return to editing the shape, you're going to lose any element changes that you've made. And this is something that hopefully we can look into with PV3 with uh, stacking edits. You also have a few more options in here to edit, including clearing points, adding points directly here, uh, changing the tangent or handle type. Uh, you can automatically close the loop with a checkbox, turn on and off whether the shape is smoothed, set the radius, uh, number of rows, columns, etc., and whether or not the tangents will snap to the grid if you're using uh, Pro Grids. So this is the Bezier tool as it stands now in ProBuilder 2.8. Uh, again, remember this is experimental for the moment. We have quite a bit we like to add and change, and we're sure you'll find a few things as well. Be sure to let us know. Um, again, everything is changing here, and this is probably going to be finalized uh, only in, in PB3, but we'll definitely be editing and, and experimenting with this uh, up until that point. So, always looking forward to your feedback. Thanks for taking a look, and again, be sure to check out the rest of the documentation here. Quite a bit to see. Thanks.